Hi everyone, uh, it's Liz again with another uh, video uh, and this time we look at Touch Portal uh, which is a stream deck you can use for free uh, for controlling your VTU VTubing action uh, by, uh, by distance there so you pretty much can do stuff like that pretty fast uh, <laughs> without having to alt-tab all the time with your uh, application there and also uh, having the hotkeys too, also have to use the hotkeys on your keyboard too. So you just touch it on the bottom and boom boom, it's pretty fast. That's what we will be doing here. And first thing first, uh, before we get into the mix, uh, we have to make the difference between a macro remote control or uh, just a remote control. Because you might have heard of Streamlabs deck and this is only a remote control of your stream. So it's only for streaming. So you only, only, only control your Streamlabs or your, your broadcasting software, like Streamlabs. So it's not enough. We'll need the macro uh, control uh, for, to be able to use it for VTubing. So Streamlabs is a no-no. And Touch Portal is a free one we have today. And that's the one we'll be showing here. But of course, in the future, they might have new application as well. And those things always uh, change. So yeah. So free one here, and that's what we will be doing. We'll turn our uh, our mobile into the stream stream deck because other thing you can do is buy a physical copy, right? You could do be buying a big Elgato like the the big streamers has <laughs> big, big streamers with big stream deck there. They have multiple on their on their deck there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a, that's also a thing you can do. But I like to go budget. I'm the budget friendly guy here, so. I'll use the free stuff. Uh, it works. Elgato, Elgato also Stream Deck Mobile as well, but it's not free. You can try it for free uh, for 30 days, but after that, uh, you'll have to pay. And the one we'll be using is Touch Portal, and it's free, but you have limited bottom option. So you have to be careful. If you want more bottom, you'll have to upgrade as well over here. You can test it out for free. So, uh, so you download that and say you on the other side. Okay, when you uh, uh, launch your touch portal for the first time, it will try to link your phone and your desktop application. So it will guide you step by step to set up both your phone and uh, your desktop application. You also, so you have to install touch portal both on your PC and on your phone to be able to be here here and I have the connect to Android, I uh, use an Android phone, so uh, that's what we will have. So we, um, the bottom we have, we have more bottom than the, the default setup because we did the, uh, we, well, we did the setup of Touch Portal. We said, oh, I'll be using OBS, so it added a few bottom for OBS there. And the go to our VTuber uh, bottom, that's what we, uh, added ourselves, and as the first button, we'll be adding uh, over here in the tutorial because we have to be able to navigate to the page here. So, because uh, as a free free application, we only have access to two page, and yeah, you see it here, the two page. You have the main one and the VTuber one. So, eight bottoms, so you have sixteen bottom total. And if you use two for uh, navigation, you'll have uh, in the end fourteen bottom only. You have to be very careful what you do with them. Personally, I could use the first page there. I don't use much of those bottom here, so uh, I could use uh, the first page as well. I didn't do it, but I could change that to have more uh, VTubing action on the first page as well. So if you want to make your second page, you go to your page and make it a name. Uh, we did VTuber ourselves. And after that, the first bottom you have to do is uh, because on your phone, you can swipe to the ne next page. You will have to have a navigation button. That's the first button we will be doing. So you, to make a new button, you click on an empty space and you appear uh, over here on the, on the other side of here. And after that, uh, it will be on press, on press. What happens on press here? We'll go to a page. So navigation, go to a page and we'll select uh, VTuber, the second page. That's what the name, uh, that's all we named it. And we'll give it a name. Go to VTuber. And you can add it uh, an icon as well. Change icon. Creator from file or icon, icon pack. I uh, use a high, the, those icon pack come uh, by default from Touch Portal. Don't like them. You can uh, also download uh, other pack. So you go on the website. 
touch portal here and you have all of those back here that you can can position and stuff and also for other application right because it's a macro remote control so you can use it for photoshop if you want and you're you're an artist and you, you want just a touch of a, a bottom here on your street deck and your, on your mobile you can do that too so that's those are the uh the default one or pack that people already upload so we use that uh, ourselves boom and after that we don't see the text so we can put it at the bottom here there you go and that's pretty much it hey so we don't have the, the error anymore so it says that your bottom is ready to go it will work so we save that uh off stream we added a, for, a foreground color as well but you don't have to and after that uh, this button will appear on your phone uh, and it, when you click uh, that on your phone, let, let's do that. We go to the second page, which is this one for us, but for you it will be an empty page, most likely. So first thing first on your second page, you'll have to do a navigation button. Um, you can copy from the first page, copy button and paste button. There you go. After that, you have to still change the location, so you change the navigation. So now it will be main, and the, so now you change VTuber for main, and pretty pretty much. And after that, uh, the first thing you have to do uh, after your navigation is the toggle uh, application bottom, so that you can open your VTubing application uh, to be able to do your emotes, just like those. You have to, uh, instead of using alt tab, right? So you have to toggle your application. So the first bottom is the, mm, is that bottom here. Uh, for self, we use VTuber Maker, but whatever application you use, it's the same. It's the same uh, same step here. So you click on an empty space again. Of course, uh, since we already did it at the bottom, uh, we already have everything here, but we'll still go through it step by step, right? So what do we do? Uh, this time, uh, to make a toggle uh, VTuber icon, we'll have to add logic, and it's the if statement. So the if statement appears at the bottom here, because we already have everything here. And what does this if statement says? Uh, it looks at the bottom state and it says, uh, is it on or is it off? So we'll say, we'll look if it's on at the beginning. Is it on? If it's on, uh, that's where you have a second step here. You will change the, set, set the, change the bottom state to off. So if it's on, you turn it off. So this time it will be in values, change bottom state, add that, drag that. So if it's on, you want to turn it off. And what's the key to turn it off? Uh, so now you have the hotkey to turn it off. Input, a low level key press. And what's the hotkey for you? It will depend because you have to look at your taskbar. Uh, uh, for me, my taskbar, I pin my application that I use here, you see it at the taskbar here. And there's three items before my application, the little, the little square icon, the VTuber maker. And so it's number four. So for me, it will be Windows plus four on the, task, uh, on the taskbar there. So that's where we had here. Boom, there you go. And you drag that uh, over here. After that, uh, because that's only when it's on. Obviously, the bottom is not always on. So we have to add another logic and else. So we drag that. Again, we can copy both of those. Control and click and you can select both of those and you can copy. Duplicate. Duplicate. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have to change uh, the state bottom, the bottom state here. So we'll be press on this time. That's the same key. Uh, the, the, the key they will press is the same, but uh, so now it will be changed. So, so what's the end result? So that's the, pretty much the end result. You can always, as always, put the name, put an icon, and boom. After that, you save. And the end result is when you click on it, it opens your whatever application you have for, for VTubing. So you can do your stuff here. <laughs> Let's go, pretty much. And after that, when you're done, you can close it down by clicking the toggle, uh, toggle again. So that's pretty fast. That's how you do emotes pretty fast. By clicking toggle, do your emote, and boom. That's, uh, that's how you do. That's the main bottom here to be able to toggle your application pretty fast to show avatar. 
And uh, after that, it's pretty easy. That's the most complicated bottom here. And after that, it's pretty easy. Just add the hotkeys for your... Because in your, in your software, you probably have some hotkeys. So we see it here. We see some hotkeys we have in the software here. And yeah. So that's, the, what's, that's what you will be linking here. Uh, so you click on the space again. And you will create a low level, low level key press. Input low level key press and whatever hotkeys you have for your, I mean, it won't be the same as me, but whatever you have and you input that. So for me, it's left control and left shift and W for wave. Boom. I have that. Boom. That's the way, that's the key here. That's it. <laughs> you save that, you save that and you're done. I mean, you can always uh, upload an icon and name it as well. And after that, when you have your icon here, you have your wave, uh, wave icon here. What you do, you click toggle first. And after that wave and you toggle it back so it's pretty instant now you can wave at people pretty instantly with your steam deck here and that's it for pretty much all the bottom you want to have uh for emotes here and of course a stream decks is uh it's more opportunity of course uh bottom wise and that's pretty much it uh you got it done that's all you do for your stream deck stream stream deck for v2 being yeah you just add more bottom and Pretty much whatever hotkeys you have. And one last thing uh, before we go though is uh, it was a decent question that I saw there, and it was asking if uh, you can use that for in full screen. And the problem is when you use the, your stream deck when you're playing something in full screen, it will uh, it will have to uh, open the game again, so you won't be able to use your toggle here with the game because you will uh so let's say you stream the game in full screen and you click toggle it will toggle to uh your application but when you click again uh, it won't come back to your game though that's the thing there that you have to take in consideration if you're playing full screen so if you're planning to play play full screen you'll have to put that on the second uh, second screen i guess you will have uh, i mean full screen player have to <laughs> eventually re requires uh, having a second screen so that's the thing probably i use only one screen but if you like playing full screen there you go other than that uh yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it liz is done here bye bye everyone i'll see you in the next one bye that little dab there <laughs> with our deck here <laughs>